What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Jackie Chan film, The Foreigner. The Foreigner is directed by Martin Campbell of Casino Royale fame, stars Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan. It tells the story of a father who, after his daughter is killed in a IRA terrorist attack in London, is trying to hunt down the people that perpetrated the attack. Pierce Brosnan plays the head of Northern Ireland and is the person put in charge of also trying to find this attack. However, Jackie Chan's character seems to think that Brosnan has some sort of connection with the attack itself. No, I don't want to go into much more detail than that because then you start getting into very specifics about the story and as always, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys. I think one of the strengths of this film is the sad but realistic story that it tells. While obviously not everyone has a dad that's trained in special forces to go hunt down the person that killed their family member, this film, the actual just general premise of someone losing their child in a terrorist attack is something that's so sadly realistic in the world that we live in, and I honestly thought that this film portrayed it in a really great manner in the distress and sort of the confusion that takes place after attacks like this. Now this film did decide to go a different route rather than making it ISIS or Al-Qaeda or something like that. They decided to make it a homegrown terrorist attack from the IRA in London. The IRA is the Irish Republican Army. They're the group that is basically consistently fought against England and they want to have control over Northern Ireland. I'm not going to give you guys a whole history lesson, but I did want to clarify that since I mentioned it in the basically plot description that I gave earlier. Now, Martin Campbell does a really good job directing this movie. I thought that he handled all of the action sequences really well. None of them were filmed with too many quick cuts or too overly saturated and crazy shaky cam or anything. Everything was really smooth and I think his simplistic direction really helped the film because there isn't a ton of like big budget action sequences. A lot of them are smaller action sequences and that type of filming really helps those feel more impactful and more real. And Jackie Chan, at the ripe age of 63, gives what I think is his greatest English performance. Granted, he's given tons of great performances in China, but I think in America, and really just English-speaking films in general, he has sort of played very less than serious roles, while very entertaining roles, but I think this is probably the best performance he's ever given in an English-speaking film. He's absolutely phenomenal in this movie, whether it is the action sequences or the emotional sequences, you genuinely feel for this guy. It is such a sad story that is being told about him. And the guy still does all of his own stunts even though he's in his 60s, which is crazy. But he's really great. You really feel for his character. You you sense that sadness and just that emptiness that his life has after he loses his daughter and his want to get that revenge and that retribution for what took place. And I really thought that he did a phenomenal job. Pierce Brosnan also did a really good job as sort of the head of Northern Ireland and the person that's trying to figure this out while also being accused by many of being a part of it. And also his scenes with Jackie Chan, their sort of intense moments together are some of the best scenes in the whole film because the two of them have such an interesting dynamic on screen which made for some extremely suspenseful and interesting dialogue and action sequences. The film had an interesting story, as I said earlier, a sadly realistic story, but it also took a lot of interesting twists and turns throughout the story to keep you guessing, because you don't actually know who perpetrated this attack for a while, and as the film progresses, you continue to sort of form your own theories as to what's going on until it is eventually solved, and I actually enjoyed that, rather than it just being a very straightforward, this is the good guy, this is the bad guy, there's sort of that gray area. Now, my only issues with this film are really just plot related. I think that in the beginning of the film, it's really confusing to understand what is going on with Pierce Brosnan's character. It really seems like just a bunch of Irishmen that are kind of just yelling at each other, but it's hard to actually grasp as to what's going on with all of them. And I understand that maybe that was on purpose to try and keep us in, you know, out of the loop, but it also seemed a little lackluster in the performances given by some of the people there. While Brosnan did a good job, the rest of everyone else he was involved with kind of felt like they were there just to speak and give exposition, even if as the audience we didn't really understand what any of that exposition was supposed to mean. And then my only other issue 
is really that there are some smaller plot aspects in the story that are sort of character traits that are put in that really play such a small role that I don't know why so much time in the film was dedicated to those specific aspects of those characters. While they did end up playing a role, most of them weren't really that important or that big of a deal and I thought that those scenes could have been used to build other characters in the film or to add more depth to the characters that were already there. I'm gonna give The Foreigner a B. Honestly, for an action movie, this movie gave me everything I wanted. It had cool hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes, some cool shootout scenes, some really great stunts from Jackie Chan, and a really great performance from Jackie Chan. It's got a sadly realistic story, and I think that it was just a pretty decent time in the movie theater. If you like action movies and you haven't really seen one this year that's really piqued your interest, maybe give this one a chance, because it's, it's pretty dark, it's pretty gritty. Well, guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this review, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of The Foreigner, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and I hope to see you guys later.